Right here. Thank you. Okay, so thank you again. That was fantastic. 146, I think we ended up with. The way this is going to work is on your app, on your phone now, you'll see that it's changed ever so slightly. So all the wonderful ideas you threw together and came up with in the first session, we've basically taken those, taken the popular ones, joined a couple together because some were very similar to basically come up with a bit of a list. It's about prioritisation. And so we want to use this information for priorities. So what we're going to do is vote those. That, and then there's three questions that I want to get you to answer. I want to get some discussion happening around those. And this is the point now to start to get into a bit more detail and flesh that out. So we'll talk about each of those points. And again, I don't know how long we'll talk about them. And then you can just put in a, a comment or a word or a few words there about what's important out of that discussion we had. But I, I think one of the great things I love about sessions like this is that someone says one idea and that leads someone to think of another idea and suddenly idea number three or four or 17 is the idea that really makes a difference there. But you don't always think about that yourself until you hear other ones. So I like to get that bit of a group discussion happening to try and generate some of those creative juices. Who, who are we going to give that white paper to? Who is going to be involved in that process? Uh, well, councils to start with will be involved. Unless you're talking about filling an open cup mine, with crap. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, if I so, could yeah, add to that. So I can, I can then fill us, yep, yep, Ken. There's a company in Parks that's just set up now that's taking the plastic from recycled drums that farmers use, the chemical yeah, plastic yep. drums, takes the pellets, melts them down, adds a black dye, and they're creating a western fencing mm. posts with them. The biggest problem we've got is the markets and legislative change. Transport. Beautiful. Um, people, definitely. Yep. To be able to either rail it or get Yep, it and so it might be a great point for remain rail. Instead of saying recyclables, could we say it's a valuable commodity that they've got no, they don't know what to do with it. Yep. It's a valuable commodity that we want to repurpose into a valuable product. Yep, so, so rather than recycling, repurposing yeah. might be a better term for it. It's turned into power, electricity, and approximately 20% of their power. You know, if you gave her the contracts to support the schools here, she makes the blue um, out of those water, plastic water bottles. Being households and retail sh outlets and people who um, deal with packaging. I think there's a wider knowledge of what inputs we're effectively getting from people like bottles or whatever. Yep. What it is, yep. what it is out of the other things, then we can start to get the innovators thinking about material use. What other things do you see standing in the way? Well, I come from an insurance background and I can tell you right now, no insurer in Australia that would insure a recycling centre. Community? So in what way community? Well, that's, that's, I don't want it in my backyard. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's quite easy for people to galvanise around anything that's new and unknown. Yep. If they're in opposition. Yep. And this would be a case in point. And then building the maybe build some trust and then do this innovation piece. I just wonder whether we wouldn't get more value from that. Well, it's a contamination of, you know, of uh, And also I find it it's confusing. I think you've got to do some something that actually makes a difference. So, and that's where the tyre hits the road. Pardon the pun. <laughs> Only 145 to go. <laughs> 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 right. Who's involved? So who's involved in the ageing population? I mean, the first... The aged. The aged, I'd probably say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the people that are ageing. Um, <laughs> Housing. Housing, yep. Affordable so, housing in particular. Yeah, because only 5% of the population ever get to aged care. Or like university students. Sorry, down the back? Um, service pro providers generally. So it's <laughs> worth yeah. our wife. But, but the whole community is, is behind that. Yeah. Well, like just thinking about the regional centres, transportation is really hard. The retirees are moving out of Sydney, yeah. not those that are going into aged care. Got lots of benefits there. Um, and, and again, you know, quality of life. Um, they're certainly richer, they've certainly got more money. The community will benefit, our community will benefit. They've got the ability, they've got most of the battery components they need, just need a bit of lithium from Western Australia and you can make batteries in the region. Rather than and moving to a two-way grid where power can be created wherever it needs to be. So innovation is the word because whether we like it or not, we, we know there's a market there. Four percent of our power in Australia now is provided by pumped hydro. So we're using it. The climate. The climate. Tourism. Yeah. It's not the first thing that comes to mind, but it's absolutely relevant. I think you could get some tourism out of it. What a fantastic opportunity. Put them at the end of the wing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just spin them! The technology has the R&D jobs, yep. it has the prototyping jobs, 
it has the jobs that go to other people set them up. And yeah, no, good so point. That's as I'm just playing devil's advocate, we're trying, to be, we're trying to talk about new industries and jobs. Well, we've got an industry that's already established here. Can I just put in a request? I don't know whether it's physically possible with this software. Yep. But could we take some homework home and go through these suggestions? And Can you please thank our fearless facilitator? <laughs> thank you. Thank you.